Howdy champs, my name is Mohit and uh, today I'm going to show you how to combine PHP with Flash and ActionScript 3 and create a contact form uh, which looks uh, exactly the same as the one that you see on the Flash stage right now. Um, in fact, before I work with the Flash interface, I would like to show you how that form uh, works um, on the uh, server. So what I've done is I've uploaded all the uh, required files on the server and uh, it's up on the web wide world okay so uh, this is the url i'll be posting the url uh, in the description so you can test it yourself so you can see there are four fields out here the name email phone comments field and uh, then you have an option to sign up or not to do so all right uh, you have the reset button to clear all the fields and you have the submit button uh, to send the information all right uh, let's assume uh, this is the form that the user has to interact and without uh, inputting any uh, information he straight away clicks the submit button you can see an alert out here which clearly says uh, please fill all fields or message won't be sent <coughs> cool let's say uh, the moment I click in the name field you can see that the background color of the field actually change and if I uh, you know come to the next field out here jump uh, into the next field email you can see that the the background color is reset for the first field but it changes for the second one now it changes for the third field and now for the comments field all right so what i've done is i've used the uh, focus events out here so the moment a field gains you know focus it 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 uh, changes the background color right people let me tell you that this uh, tutorial is divided into two parts uh, the second part is where I uh, explain the action script in detail uh, rather uh, I explain the action script I wouldn't say in detail because it's quite lengthy right I'll, I'll uh, quickly take you through the action script in part number one I'll just explain what exactly is there on the stage the flash stage and I'll explain the components that I've used uh, the ingredients that go into uh, it and uh, a little bit about them right and uh, also let me inform you that uh, the PHP script along with the flower file uh, in fact all the assets uh, will be zipped up and as a zip file they will be available uh, as a free download from my website qualitylessons.net forward slash downloads so that's the good news that even without having to watch part number two going into part number two you'll be able to uh, download and use uh, this contact form right so let's let's start entering let's say my first name this is my last name right and uh, right in fact uh, I was just checking if there is a maximum uh, character length that I've actually set I don't think I've set it for this but you can actually right uh, this is the email field let's say Mohit's mail at the rate yahoo.com right as far as the you know the phone field is concerned I can fill in only numbers if I try to put in alphabets as you can see it does not allow so uh, there is a restrict uh, on this uh, text field that it allows only uh, numbers so let me put my mobile number right so that's uh, plus nine one is the country code people which i'm not uh, putting right now and the mobile number just in case you need to contact me here so the mobile number is nine zero double two double nine five nine five two that's it all right and as far as the comments is concerned uh, just about anything I think I've set a max characters uh, restriction on this field uh, at 200 I'm not so sure uh, we'll go back to the uh, flash and action script 3 and we'll uh, be sure there all right so I can restrict what you actually enter inside the text field I can uh, um, restrict the max number of characters too <coughs> sorry <coughs> excuse me all right now that I've uh, filled the form completely uh, I can press the reset button erase everything uh, or else I can hit the submit button too alright 
so let me hit the submit button all right uh, the moment i hit the submit button people you can actually see uh, i get an alert which says uh, message sent and you can be absolutely sure that the message has been shot to my email all right now let's go back to flash and action script 3 and uh, check out uh, how this actually looks uh, inside the flash interface right now that's uh, adobe flash cs6 for you all right have a look out here on the timeline people uh, the topmost layer is the action script 3 layer now the next layer which is the text field and radio buttons layer if i hide it for you you can see all the text fields and the radio buttons hide themselves right uh, the uh, field just below that is the labels field so the the labels name email phone comment sign up etc you can see they hide themselves uh, this uh, one of the uh, the next uh, field is the buttons field the summit and the reset buttons field and then you have the background picture all right which is right at the bottom the bottom mouse layer all right uh, now let me uh, take you through uh, these different components now people this component uh, is e the text input component and how do you get the text input component uh, you need to go to uh, components and from there you can pull out uh, the text input component and drag it and leave it onto the stage like this let me delete it since i've already done that all right so people this is the text input component so is this so is this all right uh, they have been given uh, instance names of uh, name underscore txt uh, email underscore txt phone underscore txt right I've actually increased the width. I think the default is probably 100. I've uh, increased to a 200. But the width and the height of these input text fields is, is something that you can actually control. Also have a look out here that I've uh, decreased the alpha from 100% to a, a 50% for all these three text fields. Right? And uh, also have a look as far as the name uh, field is concerned. I've used the restrict method out here. So it's been restricted to lowercase a to z, uppercase a to z, and the space, right? There are no max characters restriction out here. Let's check for the email. As far as the email is concerned, uh, there are no res restrictions in place at all, right? Let's check the phone field. Okay, um, I've restricted uh, the phone field to uh, numerals only, 0 to 9, okay? Now, people, uh, just in front of the uh, comments field, we have this text area component. Have a look out here. Clearly, it says out here, it's a text area component. Again, the alpha has been set to 50%, so the background image can be uh, seen through uh, the field, right? If it were, let's say, 100% like this, uh, wouldn't uh, really look good. So that's, that was the reason I had to drop it down to have some transparency at least so one could see the background image right um, and where do you get the text area component from again you need to go out here where you see the components and uh, drag out the um, text area component this is the text area just drag and drop it that's all that you need to do and resize it uh, resize it using the width and the height uh, attributes out here right okay but uh, as far as the text area component is concerned you can actually see that i've set the max characters to a 200 so a person cannot enter more than 200 characters right oh okay uh, what about these buttons now these buttons are the submit and the reset buttons as you can see i have changed the labels for the submit it's submit for the reset it's reset and where uh, did i get these buttons from you got it uh, correctly this time from the components i've pulled out the buttons from here right okay and um, now this is a text field people as you can see it's classic and dynamic so you just need to hit the text tool and draw out text field uh, of the size uh, which is approximately my size or you can choose your own size that's entirely up to you okay and uh, i've given it an instance name of uh, status okay so this text area has an instance name of message underscore txt this one phone underscore txt email underscore txt and name underscore txt okay now there are these are uh, radio button components okay so the radio button on the left uh, is rb1 the radio button on the right is rb2 
okay again I got them from the components <coughs> excuse me components and if you go down um, that's the radio button just drag and drop it onto the stage where you want right okay so this is how the stage was constructed I, I, I club the text fields and the radio buttons onto one single layer the labels onto another layer the buttons onto another layer and the background picture on one separate layer and obviously the topmost layer usually belongs to the action script uh, let me open up the actions panel for you people okay so uh, I agree it's a little lengthy uh, but then again the effect is dramatic too uh, the email field uh, fields actually validate themselves so we needed uh, uh, obviously we needed uh, a long script but it's, it's not too complicated trust me on that and the next part when I'll be you know quickly going through the action script um, you'll find that it's not too difficult really okay so for people who really uh, do not wish to uh, understand the script, just want to copy it or use it, uh, the good news is that you can get it from my website, HTTP colon forward slash forward slash quality lessons dot net forward slash downloads, right? And I'm just scrolling through the script slowly. So if there are people who just want to have a, you know, a view of each and every word that was used inside the script, they can actually do so now itself. Cool. All right. Uh, <coughs> and also, people, let me tell you that I've embedded a font which is uh, for the status uh, classic dynamic text field. This is the font name, and the way to embed the font is click the embed button. In my case, I needed to embed just the uppercase and the lowercase characters and say OK. Right. Uh, why do you embed the fonts? If that is your question, you embed the fonts because just in case this font is not available uh, with the user, he will still be able to see the font. Right. Okay. So, people, uh, I'll need to terminate the tutorial out here uh, only to tell you that the script, the flower file, the assets, uh, everything, including the PHP, is available uh, as, a, as a free download okay it's been zipped up and uh, you can actually use it in fact uh, there's one thing that I forgot to show it to you and that is the PHP script which is quite simple I'll terminate the tutorial only after I show you the PHP script give me a minute okay so people these are the assets and uh, there's the send.php script for you. Let me hit the edit button. Okay, so that's the PHP script. So this is where the email will be shot to. That's my email address. This is the subject line that'll appear when the email is uh, received. Okay, these are certain variables that capture the sender's name, the sender's email address, the sender's phone number, uh, the sender's message, and uh, whether the sender wishes to sign up or not. Right? so as you see the PHP script isn't too big either so as I said people all the assets including the PHP script the action script the flash of the flash flower file the swift file everything will be bundled into a zip file and uh, will be available as a free download from my website http colon forward slash forward slash quality lessons dot net forward slash uh, downloads please um, join me in part number two of this uh, a flash and PHP tutorial of uh, making a contact form. You have a good day guys. Bye-bye. Peace.